Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from James Lee, uh, NK7B, okay? And he has a question about common mode currents. And when currents come back down from the antenna, whether it's ladder line or whether it's coax, etc., etc. So rather than read his rather detailed question, let's see if we can't uh, answer it uh, just by talking about where common mode currents are both on coax and on um, parallel line such as window line. Let's take a look. First of all, it's easy with the case of uh, coax. This goes to the shield and then what's inside goes over to here. And then you have the shield coming down here. Note that this is balanced and this is unbalanced. Though this looks like a two conductor device, it's actually three. And let me show you how that works. If this is not perfectly balanced, in the fact that it's unbalanced to balanced, you're going to get some current here that wants to stay balanced. It, you've got current going from the center of the line over to here, and you've got the inside of the coax. Remember, RF circuits tend to flow on the surface of a wire, and so this comes up here on the inside, connects to here, but you get a reflection. The reflection comes back, and the reflection comes down and comes down the outside of the braid. Now, this is called, for a variety of reasons, often referred to as a common mode current. The way you get rid of this is you can put ferrite beads right here, okay, and that will cause this to see a high impedance and thus making uh, this part go away, okay? Ferrite beads, or you can put a one-to-one -one ballon up here, or you can make a choke ballon with about nine turns of coax, about uh, nine inches to one foot in diameter, okay? Uh, right here, so you've got a multiple options. The other thing that you can do is forget all this stuff up here and put a lightning arrestor down here. That takes the coax shield and grounds it. So the common mode currents don't go any further than right there, they're shunted to ground. And then this goes to the shack. So, or you can do all of these if you've got a particular problem. One of the problems is if the RF goes up the inside of the coax, it stays inside the coax, but the reflected RF comes back down on the outside, and if you don't have a shunt to ground, this will be on the outside, and it'll get as far as your radio, and it'll be around your radio, and can cause um, unexpected behavior in the radio. Uh, for example, it won't go out of transmit or uh, it changes uh, frequency or something like that. Unexpected results. So that's one reason you ground the stuff over here. So dealing with common mode currents in dipoles, yagi stuff like that, is fairly easy by putting a ballon there or some choke beads uh, or uh, a loop of coax. This loop takes about 25 feet of coax, and so that's 30 to $40 worth of coax. People find it a lot less expensive to go with the beads and, um, or simply ground it down there and don't have the problem. That way that's outside the house the whole time. Now let's switch to balance line. Again, we'll draw this and we'll bring down two parallel lines. This would be like window line so you see the little windows in it all the way down okay 
and this comes down. Now, this is a mismatch. This is 450 ohms, ohms to about 50 ohms. So there is a 9 to 1 mismatch here, okay, which is going to affect the SWR. But one of the things you can do is put this in a tuner, and the tuner will um, change this to 50 ohm out, okay, and with it, and now there's going to be some loss here because you're going to have a big standing wave on this thing here. But this is very high impedance, okay? So if you use 450 ohm line versus 50, that's 9 to 1, the impedance ratio is this squared or 81 to 1. So you'll have 1 81th of the current I squared R losses in here than you will with coax. This is why if you have a problem with the feed location, feeding it with 450 ohm wire is so good. Now, in balanced mode, when current goes up here, it goes down here, okay? And then when it goes down here, it goes up here. Now, if there is a common mode current, which there can easily be, if it's going down here, it's going down here as well. It's treating that as though it's one wire. Now, this thing right here has um, the equivalent of a capacitor, or a, a tuner in it. It does it with uh, uh, lumped resistance and lumped capacitance, but it's the same kind of uh, information there. When this comes down to a coil in here, okay, you've got current this way and this way. Across the coil, they come in and they combine to be a net zero, okay? So this tuning mechanism here eliminates the common mode current and lets the differential mode current go by without a problem. Over here you've got, you know, capacitors and so on that go to different spots. But that eliminates this. You don't want to take this directly into a transmitter because you do have the common mode uh, current. And the you want this tuner to be well grounded, okay, so that the common mode current does not pop out, surround the outside of the tuner and get to your radio that way, okay? I know that there's a lot going on in that answer, but basically the thing to remember is differential mode current, which is normal operation, common mode current, where each of the wires carries the same current at the same time. And that will cancel itself in the inductor that is uh, in your tuner. Okay, and so there you have it. So there you have it. You find that common mode uh, currents can be a problem both on coaxial and on uh, open wire line or uh, window line. So uh, they're very simple ways. Usually just stick a tuner in there, well-grounded tuner, and it will take out all of that common mode stuff. Uh, you probably want to attach your coaxial cable to a lightning arrestor right where it goes into the house, attach it to the ground rod, and those common mode occurrence won't go any further than that. Now, uh, if you they do sort of make lightning arrestors for... Uh, open wire line or for a uh, ladder line, you can contact DX Engineering and look for those. But uh, again, similarly, um, you will find that those currents will cancel when they encounter that inductor that is in the antenna tuner. So you want your antenna tuner well grounded to, to your uh, inside the shack ground. So there you have it. Now, if you would like to help support this channel financially, you may certainly do so by going to decastlercom support and finding a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.